Hey everybody, it's Rhiannon. Welcome back to Mama Replans, or welcome if you are new here. So today I have a lifestyle feature on my channel, and this is the Juptic Wellness Planner, and this is going to be a review video, and I'm so excited to show this with you guys. Juptic was so uh, generous in sharing this with me and giving me this planner for free. So thank you to Jubtik for Jubtik for sending this to me. I am so grateful and honored that you guys asked me to share this with my friends and uh, thank you so much. So they sent this to me. I did open it and I have been um, looking at it and trying to use it to the best of my ability. Um, this is the specs here on the front. Plan your daily health in detail. It's A5 size. Form new healthy habits and achieve wellness goals. The key features of this planner are to set goals, track your progress, an exercise tracker, it lasts for three months, helps you eat healthy and feel happier. And then it has the Jupitic logo um, embossed here, and this is the rose gold color. It does have two, oh, three, I'm sorry, three ribbon flags here, and it does have a rose gold binder thing here, like a bookmark that helps keep it all closed nice and neat and I did put this back on here but this was just the little cover holder thing here so when you first take off the ribbon like the rubber band fleece um, it does open to this cover page I'm gonna take this little sleeve off here now um, like I said I did put this back on just to show you guys how the planner does come and it does come wrapped in like a cellophane cover okay so when you open the book it just opens to a blank page here. You can, you know, free hand some beautiful drawings or whatever you want to inspire you. And then it comes here and it just has a name for your name, phone number, email, and your address. And then here you can write in, it has 12 months for a calendar. And then here you can put in your starting data, your goals, your finishing data if you wanted to track this again for like the three months. Of course, I didn't fill this in yet, um, just for, you know, privacy purposes, but and then you can put in your measurements there. And it has your weight, your height, your body fat percentage, your neck, your chest, your biceps, your waist, your hips, your thighs, and your calves. And I think that's great, honestly. And it tells you right here, which I think is really great, it tells you exactly where to take the measurements. And that is really helpful because it doesn't like leave you guessing. And it tells you on um, a male and a female um, exactly where to take the measurements. And then it has a starting picture page, which I think is awesome. Exactly, you know, you could put it there. Why do you want to reach this goal? How you, how will I feel when I reach this goal? And steps to achieve this goal, which I think is really awesome as well. And then, um, so I think this this is basically every day. And I'm just gonna go to a blank one, but I did I did track a couple days here. Um, so this is basically what every day looks like. So there's pros and cons about this tracker and I'll go through some of those, but um, so basically you first, like so today is, this is my example. So I'm just gonna write up here example. So I know this is not a real day that I've been tracking, but today is 10-2. And then I would put in my weight here. I'm not just going to put that in there. Um, and then I would put down sleep. So last night I went to bed around like 12, 15 a.m. And I woke up this morning at around 6.30. So that would be like five and a half hours, I would say. I think fruits, I haven't um, been awake long enough to know. So you kind of have to do these kind of things at the end of the day. Body fat percentage. I feel like these kind of things, like why would you track that every day? I feel like that's not appropriate to track that every day. Um, and your weight, I don't believe you should track that every day either, but that's just me. But you can track that every day if that's what's something that you would like to do. And then this is a Sunday. So then you would just circle the day. And then it has a feeling tracker here. Like, are you um, feeling great, feeling happy, feeling meh, 
feeling sad or feeling like angry um, and then what's your energy level and you kind of just check a box like my energy level is pretty good right now um, and then activity I'm not really sure exactly what this box really is meant for like is that how many activities you did like um, are you saying that you're active that many times I don't really know what the purpose of that box is I don't know if you guys what your opinion of this box is like were you active um, you know uh, I mean how many boxes are there one two three four five Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventy minutes. I don't know exactly what that means. So, um, this box, I'm not quite sure exactly what that means. Um, and then breakfast, it has four trackers here. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Um, and then you would put down the products that you ate, the amount, the calories, the fat, the carbs, the fiber, and the protein, which I think is cool. And then it would have like the subtotals of the amount of calories and all that stuff and then you would track it the subtotal the total versus your goals um, which I think is cool and then at the bottom you would you know tell tally, tally that all out and then um, here you'd put in your exercise and then you would put in your reps in the weight and then down here you'd put in the cardio the time the calories burn and the average heart rate so I think this is okay but like I don't I don't exercise every day I mean, I don't really exercise very much at all. So I don't know necessarily that this page works really well for me because like it's not something that I do every day. I mean, to be honest, I hardly ever work out. Um, I just don't know if I like the way that this part is worded, like how the workout went, bad, okay, good, great. And then there's a spot for like comments here, how the day went. I wish that this part was not as long. Like I wish that this exercise portion was like less like maybe cut this off right here and then the cardio part that's fine but I wish that this it was how the workout went that's fine but how the day went bad okay great and good I wish that was down here and it had like more lines because there's days where I would like to maybe put a little bit more journaling down here and just kind of maybe capture more of my thoughts about how the day went versus having so like one little line about how the day went. Cause you know, like maybe if I want to track like more journaling on how the day went, um, if it's like a wellness planner, uh, just to be able to, you know, like the whole, like feel happier thing. I feel like that would be, um, make me feel happier as if I could track how I'm feeling versus what I'm eating type of thing. Do you know what I'm saying? So basically all these pages are the same and um, then at the back, so all these pages here are the same. Like literally they're all the same. So there's not a, a page, like I wish there was a page like every 30 days to say, how do you think the last month went? Just kind of like a recap, but these are all the same. So there's not like a break in, in the, any of the pages at all they're all the same until the very end and then um, once you get here there's some like that's why I have the flag here but there's like calories and macros for common foods and then it has like meat fish protein dairy and eggs grains nut beans and legumes fruits and veggies and then it has like servings proteins fats carbs and calories for like common things and then um, I like that and then it also has like the optimal things serving sizes and stuff which I think is really a great guide for everybody and then here um, at the end of this book it has did I achieve my main goal if not why what were my biggest lessons learned how do I feel about my progress and what is my next goal and how will it improve and then it has a blank page here and then another blank page here and then all like all great planners of course it has stickers so some of these stickers, I don't know necessarily that they're like great stickers. I don't necessarily know that they're going to um, help you achieve your goals, but um, like, I don't understand the lactose free sticker. I don't understand that one. Um, but you know, 
I, that one I don't understand. The alcohol free one I understand. Like the cheat day, I get it. The lactose free one I don't understand at all. Um, these other ones I do, you will thank yourself. To do, I don't understand because this is not a to-do list planner. So that one I don't understand. ASAP, I don't understand. These ones I do, I am unique, I am brave, I'm the best. I am fit, I am strong, you can. Um, these carb ones I don't necessarily understand because there's not really a space to put that kind of thing. Um, these check boxes I don't understand. The hearts I do. Don't stop now, run it off, stick to it. The check boxes, those are cool because um, you can check off if you drank your, uh, your water and stuff. Calories burned, those are a fun way to like, um, and calories taken. Those are a fun way to like judge up the things. The deadline, I don't understand because we're not tracking a deadline here, you know. But like some of the stickers, I think they could have re revamped them and like, you know, given more of like motivational ones. So overall, I think the stickers are, are good, but they could have been a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I think overall it's a really good planner. You know, and then here's a little thank you card and it's asking you to leave a product review here and it's they you know they want to order offer top-notch product products to their customers and so they want you to leave a review on the product you know which I have not done yet but I will be doing that for sure and then there, of course there's a little product uh, pouch here and I have that in there so I remember to do that and then that's really where I'm storing my stickers so like I said there's one Two, and I have it tracked here and then I have the third tab tracked here with the last page that I was tracking on so that's where I have my three little tabs there and I have an Erin Condren one of these like stick pens here that matches the book so that's the Jubtik um, wellness planner plan your daily health in detail and I really um, enjoyed learning more about this planner and uh, doing this review for you guys so let me know down below if you guys have any questions i do have a code down below and a link for you guys and i would greatly appreciate it if you guys would check them out below and check out my link um i don't make any money if you check out my link but i do have a code for you guys to get a discount so um, i have a discount code down below again i don't make any money if you shop my discount code but it does save you guys a little bit of money um, so yeah, if you guys would happily do that, I would greatly appreciate it. And it just lets Jupiter know that I'm the one that referred you to their planner and, uh, maybe they'll send me something else to review in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know down below if you have any questions and I'd be happy to answer them. And, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, this is my, one of my first kind of like sponsored uh, content videos and I'm super happy to do this review do this review for you guys. Thanks so much guys. Bye.